Thank you for joining. This is Insight and you're welcome. Today, I want to tackle the reasons why many prophets have failed. God has called certain prophets and there are reasons why we have not seen all of them fulfill their assignment. And so today we want to look at some of the reasons or the likely reasons why many people as gifted as they were or as anointed as they were, they still failed. And so if you are joining us for the first time, the Lord bless you for joining us. We pray that even as you've joined us, may you receive something new. Let it be an impartation in the mighty name of Jesus. And for those of you who have been with us for some time now, the Lord bless you for staying with us. The Lord bless you for that desire and that hunger to want to know more about spiritual things, about the prophetic. And I pray that that hunger will be met by a divine provision in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, before we go into the teaching and the discussion, I told you earlier on in a vision the Lord showed me concerning the coming years. And I said this is the vision for 2023 and what the Lord was revealing concerning especially our children. And so if you have not watched that, you want to go and watch it and you want to stay up to date as the years or as the days even go by, I'm going to give each and every one of us prophetic messages to help us navigate in the year 2023. And you would see that now there was an issue where Balenciaga released a set of or a series of adverts which has called, you know, has caused the social media uproar and stir listen i said one thing that what is being done spiritually is much more than what has even come out and the lord reveals to redeem therefore i would encourage each and every one that's an adult that's a parent make sure that you are circumspect of the things that your children are engaged with the things that they are opened up to be involved in whatever they are doing amen now we want to start with the reasons why prophets fail now some of these prophets have even become false prophets it is not because they for for most of them it's not because they wanted to fail or they wanted to become false but there are certain circumstances that as we go through them you can look at and know for a certain that if you don't check these things you are likely to become false or you are likely to fail I've seen so many young prophets who have done certain things and they have fallen into issues that they could not recover from. Now, the realm of the spirit, like I say, is a place that you have to be careful with, especially if you are the prophetic. Now, this teaching is not only for those who are prophets, but those who have one ministry or the other. The Lord has graced them with a particular ministry. It is for you also you can learn from it and it would also work for those who are into a career a business or something it would help you so the first reason why many prophets have failed or many young prophets have failed is because they have copied blindly other prophets if you are a prophet remember this the way the lord will speak to you will be different from the way the lord speaks to me and it will be different from the way the Lord speaks to others. That is why no prophet can necessarily teach you, for instance, if you want to see issues with people, how to see it. We can guide you in the way to receive the information. But if you look at a way a man of God or a prophet is prophesying and you say you want to do the same thing or you are expecting yourself to operate that same way, you are likely to fail. Because God calls each and every one individually. If you look throughout the scriptures, there are so many prophets. All of them have their distinct calling. If you look at the lives of the apostles, there are so many apostles, but all of them have a distinct calling. So number one, the reason why many young prophets have failed is because they wanted to prophesy like this man of God, prophesy like that man of God, be like that man of God. And I've told you that, for instance, if the one you are being mentored by is the one who operates more with the seeing 
and you are one who operates more with hearing you would be struggling or you stress yourself because you are not seeing or you are not operating where you are saying i see for instance maybe yours says i hear do you understand so in the prophetic how god will deal with you will be different from that mentor that person you look up to now this does not mean that we don't need mentors or fathers that is not it every prophet needs a mentor needs a father needs someone that will draw them into the prophetic in fact in a prophetic you need people that will guide you in the journey you need that but those people are just supposed to be guides to wherever the lord wants to take you but don't get into the place where you feel like i have to operate like this man of god that i see no else you are likely to fail because god has put you on a different journey if you begin to judge your journey by another prophet's journey you are likely to fail this is the reason why so many prophets have failed have become false and are struggling in the prophetic ministry if you are not called as a prophet to the nations to speak to the nations until that grace is released unto you or until you're able to tap into that grace walk in whatever you have been given so the reason why so many prophets are failing is because they are copying another prophet meanwhile the road they are supposed to take is a different road i know you have the mentors you have people that you look up to as good as they are you are likely not to operate like them however some of you would have mentors that you operate in the same way so this teaching is just to help you understand that you must find your own journey in the prophetic that leads me to the next point the next reason why people fail in the prophetic is because they do not know their peculiar mandate so in the ministry be it an apostle prophet pastor song minister one who works in the healing ministry miracles whatever if you do not know your peculiar mandate you are likely to copy another person's mandate if you do not know your own peculiar mandate you are likely to go the way of another person which means that whenever we don't know our own assignment our own mandate we are likely to borrow someone else's mandate so the second reason why many prophets fail is because they do not know what God has placed them on the earth to do they do not know what God is asking them to do so if you're a prophet an apostle whatever grace the Lord has given to you you must first hear from God you must first know God must reveal to you what your assignment is and a typical example is in the life of Jeremiah before he begins to step out God gives him his mandate you are to pull down you are to route out you are to destroy you are to build so before you step out before you even give your name or before you give yourself the title of a prophet an apostle listen you have to make sure that you know where you are called to there are certain prophets that are called to particular geographic locations and they would never live there that's where they are okay there are prophets like john the baptist they are called into the world and that is where they are the moment they live there they are likely to become false or they are likely to miss it so you would see that after john the baptist was captured the disciples went to him and even though he was the one that baptized jesus and declared certain things about him that he was the christ and that he was greater than him when he moved his when they moved his geographical location and the disciples went to him they asked him and then he asked them a question that they should ask jesus that is he the one that they are supposed to expect that this is a very sharp contrast because there are certain prophets that are called to certain geographical locations and you must know your mandate there are certain people that are called for maybe for instance international prophecies about nations there are certain people that are called for prophecies that regard that are you know have got to do with you know men in authority presidents governors prime ministers chiefs kings there are certain people that are called to the local community the local church 
so you must know your mandate you must know where you are the moment you shift from your mandate your location you are likely to miss your assignment you are likely to fail in your assignment so number one do not copy people for the sake of copying number two make sure that you know there is a conviction in you to know where god has called you if you don't know where god has called you for instance you are asking man of god how do i know my assignment my mandate i will tell you one thing stay in the place of prayer trust god to reveal that to you ask the holy spirit the one that gives the mandate is the best person to tell you your mandate the only time where another person will come and tell your mandate is when the lord has instructed that person to tell your mandate because maybe you are struggling but the first instance you must know it yourself i've heard people teach that if someone else comes to tell you that you are a prophet or you are an apostle and you yourself you don't know it means that you are not a prophet or an apostle that's that's wrong okay there are certain people that as they are growing in the things of god for instance they are prophets for instance, samuel is a prophet and he doesn't know that he's a prophet and so even hearing the voice of god he's struggling he needs fathers mentors that will help him identify that call so there are certain people that will come your way that will help you and if you have not watched my teaching on um, reasons or things that will help you know you're a prophet go and watch that it will help you so there are certain people that will not know their mandate but god will use vessels you use men you use other prophets especially prophets or especially people that are in the same ministry as you to confirm that this is your calling okay so god is likely to use people to help you know your mandate so number one make sure that you are not copying other people and judging your ministry based on their ministry number two make sure that you know your peculiar mandate and assignment where you are supposed to be that is why you need fathers mentors that can help you in this prophetic journey the third thing that you need to know is that the reason why many people have failed as prophets is because they did not wait enough to be prepared for their assignments the bible says one thing that many are the devices in the man's heart but the lost counsel shall do what prevail so your counsel will prevail but there are many other things that are in your heart and it is in the preparation stage that all the other things that are not in line with the counsel of God for you would be removed. The scripture also says that the horse is prepared against the day of battle, but victory is what of the Lord. Which means that every prophet or any apostle, whatever the Lord has called you to do, you must have a season where you are prepared. But most prophets, most men of God, most apostles, or, you know, whatever the gift you have, it could even be in career, business, whatever, they do not wait enough for God to prepare them. You see certain people preaching messages when they have not been prepared enough for that message. You see people putting titles on themselves when they have not been prepared enough for that title. So listen. There is a stage where God must prepare you. Moses had a stage where by the challenges he was having in Egypt, he was sent to where he met his wife. And he was there at the desert. God was having meetings with him. And all these things, as he was taking off his father's flock, was God's preparation for him. Joseph going into Egypt, into prison trying his gifts putting it to use god was preparing him daniel and the three hebrew boys all of them anyone the lord uses he prepares so the reason why many young prophets have failed they did not wait for their preparation stage to come to an end and i want to pray for someone that is listening 
that may you be able to wait enough to you are fully prepared for that assignment the Lord has given you. I pray for you. May you receive the grace to stay in a place of preparation that God will complete whatever he has to do in Jesus' name. Can you imagine a car is being, you know, is being manufactured? They're supposed to put the windshield, tires, put in wiper, put in the steering wheel, put in all manner of things. And the car does not wait. Does not wait for the tires. No wait for the windscreen. And then all of a sudden, it moves out. Will that car succeed? That car will not succeed. And many of us are in the stage of preparation and we will have to wait and make sure that we are done with our preparation. We have adequately fulfilled what the Lord is preparing us for. So the reason why many have failed or many prophets, apostles, pastors, or many businessmen, businesswomen, or many hairstylists, many carpenters, mechanics, have not passed or have not fulfilled their assignment, there is one reason. They did not finish their preparation stage. They left midway. They were not done. God did not finish with them and then they left the scene. So make sure, as much as God has called you, as much as prophets have told you that you are called into this ministry, make sure that you have finished your preparation stage. Some of you, God will have to take you through hours of prayer. God will have to take you through, you know, series of different studies, spiritual experiences. God will have to release certain angels for them to minister to you. God will have to teach you certain lessons before you would be ready. So the horse is prepared against the day of battle by victories of the Lord, which means that the horse must still be prepared. Are you in the stage where God is preparing you? And you know that God is preparing you. Are you in that stage where the Lord is preparing you for a major assignment? I want to encourage you that you finish that preparation, that you finish that training process, that at the day that the Lord will birth you forth, the Lord will bring you forth, there will be nothing that can take you down. So many have become false prophets or many have not fulfilled their assignment. Many prophets have failed because they did not wait enough to be mentored. Many became greedy. Many became self-centered. And where the Lord was preparing them under the feet of their, their master or their spiritual father or spiritual guide, they did not wait and then they left. But may you be able to wait. Wait on the Lord until you are done. Wait on the Lord. Don't be in a hurry. Don't listen to what people are telling you. You are too gifted. You are too good. You are too anointed. Start your own ministry. Move and start something else. Listen, don't be in a hurry to listen to these people. No matter the amount of miracles, testimonies that are coming your way, make sure that you are finishing that stage. Now, the fourth reason why many prophets fail is because they lose focus on that journey. So you can see you can see that I'm taking you through a process. If you can follow these things, your ministry, your life will be blessed. You will not fail in Jesus' name. So the reason why many prophets fail is because they begin to lose focus on the way. As you are going on the prophetic journey, there will be a lot of challenges that can let you lose your focus. There will be a lot of trying situations that can make you lose that focus that you had and that focus is the mandate the lord gave you and sometimes because of difficulty sometimes financial constraints sometimes because of changes in systems changes in the ministry changes in so many things and the challenges the enemy puts our way the tests the trials many prophets lose their focus many prophets have lost their focus because financially they were struggling and they became false because they started now looking for other ways to fulfill whatever challenge that was at their doorstep many prophets started looking for other spirits to prophesy 
looking for other mediums to prophesy because there was a little challenge there was a little struggle there was a little test and they could not hold on so whatever will fight your focus is going to make you feel can make you become false you know you are not supposed to charge for certain things and you are charging for them listen it will let you lose your focus and this will make you fail or make you become a false prophet so many people started very well but along the line they lose them they lost their focus they lost why god asked them to enter into the ministry and they became false most of them failed so the focus is important that's why the bible says that write the vision clearly write the vision clearly so whatever mandate you have received listen write it somewhere engrave it somewhere make sure it is somewhere you can always go back to let the focus be intact many people have lost focus because the devil put a temptation before them and they the temptation took them off their focus they lost their ministry became false many people they lost their focus because of greed last if you are now becoming greedy over the things of the world you are likely to lose focus and you are likely to become false likely to fail and sometimes let me throw this in the reason why some of the prophets have failed is because for instance in the church setting that they are you know the prophets or even the apostles their mandate is to be on the things of the spirit the word prayer and making sure they are leading the people of god in the right way and the people are supposed to take care of these guys so that they don't have to worry too much about this when they are not well taken care of the the sheep do not understand this to take care of them you see the, the scripture said that and there was an issue in acts where the seven of tables the people were having questions and so the apostles decided that, okay we will pick people because the hellenistic jews were saying that they they are not serving us like the way they are serving the ordinary jews they are they are not being fair to us and so they were complaining when the apostles came on the scene they said that okay we will pick people that are full of the spirit to serve the tables but as for us we must focus on word and prayer our focus must be the ministry and prayer so this is the setting in the body of christ the prophets the apostles the leaders of the church we are supposed to take care of them so that their focus is not shifted if you have a prophet you say you have a prophet one of your mandates is that you must take care of him so that they don't lose their focus they don't go off if you have an apostle you have a pastor your assignment is to take care of him so that he does not go off so that he does not lose the focus now they are thinking about how what to eat how to take care of the family how to do this and they are likely to now enter or meddle in all manner of things why there was a challenge and the body of christ was not able to take care of them this is not only about you know even the apostles and prophets so many gifted people in the body of christ have left because they were not being taken care of so make sure that your focus is intact make sure your focus is intact it doesn't matter the trials that comes away as a prophet as a pastor an apostle listen i know the challenges that you will go through but remember to keep your focus intact remember keep your focus intact if not your journey would be cut short the next thing that i want to tell you as a reason why people or prophets have failed men of god gifted people have failed is because they lacked inspiration and for some of you on the journey the focus will be intact but the inspiration to keep running keep moving forward that inspiration is gone and i know that some of you are in that stage where there was a fire there was a desire that was burning in you when you started the ministry when you started you know that business when you started that career there was a desire a strong passion concerning that thing that you are doing but some way somehow some way somehow the passion started deflating going out and then gradually 
you lost it. And so the next thing that causes prophets to fail is when their inspiration begins to lack. What used to inspire you? Go back to that thing. Now, these are certain things that you can go to. Number one, prayer. The Bible says that men ought to do what? Pray and not faint. The reason why prayer is necessary is because it strengthens your faith. It strengthens that vision, that assignment the Lord has given you, prayer. So the Bible says that when men pray, they don't faint. You don't want to fail in the journey, pray. You don't want to backslide, be a woman of prayer, be a man of prayer. You have to pray. And always make sure that you are intensifying your prayer. If this year you are doing 30 minutes a day, intensify the prayer. It's about intensifying the prayer and the consistency. Make sure that you are consistent in the place of prayer. Anything that is fighting your prayer life is going to fight your inspiration and it's going to fight your focus and it's going to fight your mandate. So make sure that your inspiration is intact by prayer. He says that when we pray in an unknown tongue, we edify ourselves. So as you are praying, you are edifying yourself. If you don't pray, you will go down. Your spiritual life will go down. Trust me. Many people who have failed, many people who have lost their fire, their spiritual life, it is because there was an issue with their prayer life and they did not know or they did not tackle it. The next thing, meditate. Meditate on that assignment the Lord has given to you. Always go back. This is a place for, you know, this meditation is a place for a personal retreat where you are going back to God, talking to Him about the assignment He has given you reminding him about the things he has said, the prophecies, reminding him about the blessings and the promises. And then reminding yourself also about the things the Lord has told you to do so that if perchance you are going off, you can come back. As a prophet, you must have a time for a personal retreat. It could be yearly, it could be annually, it could be quarterly, it could be monthly, whatever. You must have time where you are meditating, where you are having your own personal retreat. It will help your inspiration. So prayer, meditation or inspiration. Number three, the word of God. Stick to the word of God. Always read the word. Base your your ministry on the word of God. The final thing, I'm talking about inspiration. That your inspiration will not be affected. That you will not lack inspiration. The final thing I'll tell you is that you need relevant impartations. Who are those that are mentoring you? Whether online, physical, who are those that minister to you? Who are those that you receive nourishment from? You must always make sure when they are organizing an impartation service, you go for that meeting. You must call them regularly. You honor them. We, in the body of Christ, we understand this. You honor them by whatever, a seed, a sacrifice, whatever. You honor them and you ask them to pray for you. It's important. Ask them to pray for you. Lay hands on you. Impart you. The final thing is that you must be open to change. You must be ready to learn new things because in the journey, God will not be quiet throughout the journey from the beginning to the end. In between the beginning and the end, God is likely or is always going to tell you to do something new, change a direction, change with something that you are doing because the world keeps evolving, keeps changing. If you say that, in the old, they were not using mobile phones, so now you not use mobile phones. You might be a prophet, but you might fail. So on the journey, God is likely to change certain things, so you must be open to change. This is what affected most of our fathers earlier, when there was a change in the media space with internet, with social media. They, they refused to open up to it. And many pay the heavy price for it. So on the journey, the Lord, but you must, this is a very dicey place because some might take instructions that might be of devils, of familiar spirits. You must make sure that this thing you are hearing from God, it's not taking you off your main assignment. But in between the beginning and the end, God is, is you know, is going to tell you, do this. Begin to do this. Begin to do that. You must stay relevant with God stay what relevant with god stay relevant with the holy spirit as you are developing that prayer that meditation that word that impartation and staying in contact with the holy spirit there are certain things you tell you now i need you in seven days fasting now i need you to study the whole book of maybe 
numbers i need you to study the life of the prophet daniel i need you to study the book of revelations god will bring instructions here and there as you are on the journey so i'll take you through the steps again the things that you need to do or you have to avoid so that you don't fail or you don't become a false prophet number one do not copy other prophets and judge your ministry based on their ministry you will fail as a prophet number two if you don't know your mandate your peculiar everyone has a peculiar mandate if you don't know that mandate you must make sure that you go to god in prayer meditation fasting and then hear from him let him tell you what his plan is for you many are the devices in a man's heart but the lord's counsel shall prevail now the third thing is that you must wait adequately to be prepared anyone that is not prepared would fail and so as a prophet one reason that will make you fail is when you have not been prepared enough wait let the lord work on you whatever lessons you must receive from spiritual fathers from the lord himself wait for it the next thing is that make sure that you don't lose your focus that is why it is important that whatever mandate the lord has given to you whatever vision it is write that vision down make sure that you are going back to it make sure that you are feeding that focus make sure you don't lose the focus on the journey there might be so many challenges so many you know trials temptations there might be even so many blessings that will come your on the prophetic journey but make sure it doesn't let you shift your focus make sure you don't lose your focus the next thing is a lack of inspiration i've told you that to tackle this inspiration issue because the focus might be intact but that inspiration that fire that desire to keep praying to keep following what the lord has told you might go the reason why it is going because certain areas in your life have been affected and this is what you have to do to restore it or to keep it intact number one prayer make sure your prayer is intact your personal retreat meditation number two number three your word life is solid number four relevant impartations anointings from people that have mentored you and are helping you grow in the prophetic and then the final thing is that you stay relevant with the holy spirit be open for change let the holy spirit be able to direct you that now begin to do this begin to do that i want to pray for someone that desires the prophetic anointing i declare in the name of jesus may the prophetic be released over your life now in the mighty name of jesus wherever you are you want to close your eyes you are trusting god for the prophetic touch your eyes touch your ears anyone you are led to you can lay hands on your head put your hand on your chest wherever you are led to just do that i pray in the name of jesus we release fire the burden of the prophetic in the name of jesus i pray for you wherever you are may the lord touch your spiritual eyes and your ears may you hear god may you receive a vision now in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you in the prophetic journey i pray let the oil of the prophetic be released like never before see in the spirit here in the mighty name of jesus i impart i release the prophetic over your life in jesus mighty name amen i want to pray for those that you know on the prophetic journey you missed it somehow you lost the fire somehow something happened you couldn't see anymore you couldn't hear anymore i pray now by the prophetic office i release that prophetic staring again in the name of jesus now take it by the power of the holy ghost i release it now in the name of jesus wherever you went down wherever you lost it those spiritual eyes seen hearing you lost it i pray restoration let there be a staring let there be a staring may the angels of the prophetic stand up again wherever you are called in the ministry in business we pray a restoration now in the name of jesus whatever you lost i call command the fire of the holy ghost to rekindle it in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost you might have lost it but arise a righteous man shall fall seven times but he shall rise again wherever you are fallen prophet of god i am here to tell you apostle of god man of god whatever you are called into wherever the lord has empowered you in relationship business in career in finance wherever i pray may the lord lift you up you might be down your ministry is down i pray let there be restoration in the name of jesus may the lord empower you again in the name of jesus rise oh man of god rise oh woman of god don't stay down there you might have fallen but that's not the end of you arise 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 in the mighty name of jesus amen it is important that you give your life to christ if you have not given your life to christ please do so 
give your life to Christ. You want to walk in the prophetic, give your life to Christ. You cannot walk in the prophetic if you have not given your life to Christ. You have to give your life to Christ. You want to be effective in the ministry, in the prophetic, you have to give your life to Christ. I want you to spend time, all of you that are listening, prophets, spend time. Pray for yourself. As the year is coming to an end, pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Spend time. Pray for yourself. Amen. Now, as many that want to be a blessing to the ministry, so many of you have been blessing the ministry. The Lord bless you. So many have been asking for how to support the ministry, seeds, whatever offering. The Lord bless you. If you are here, you are led to do so, you want to do so, I believe that the information will be on the screen or you can reach out to us by the numbers that are on the screen or any of our social media platforms and the Lord will do you good. So if you want to do that, you have been led by the Spirit, do that. Support the ministry where the Lord is taking us. You want to be a part of the journey in Jesus' name. If you have not followed us on any of our social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, wherever, TikTok, yeah, wherever, YouTube, wherever you, you, you can follow us, do your best to follow us. And then you can receive, you know, timely, inspirational messages there. All right. So the Lord bless you. Like you are watching this on a Wednesday. Every Wednesday we have teachings on the prophetic things of the spirit, spiritual things. And then we are here to empower the body of Christ, even the youngest. We want even the the, the youngest or, or, or the, the newest in the kingdom to be able to understand what we are talking about. So as much as possible, we try and make it clear for everybody to understand and most of you have joined us and you have been blessed by the simplicity of the word but still spiritual and impactful and powerful so this is our assignment we want to make sure that we are empowering so i'd encourage each and everyone to share this broadcast share this with someone some of you it is a covenant that i would be sharing the messages of this man of God, I will be, I will be a blessing to this ministry by sharing it to people. I want each and every one, as you like, as you are commenting, you want to share it so that many people will be blessed by it. Is that okay? So the Lord bless you. Every Sunday, 9 p.m. GMT, local time, we enter into prayer. I say that it is good to teach, understand the word, but if you cannot enforce it in prayer, you will struggle. And so. As you are listening to the word, as you are being empowered, as you are being taught, make sure that you are investing enough time in prayer. And I've taught you about the importance of prayer already today. So make sure that on Sundays, you join us to pray. Make it a point. Set an alarm. Make it a decision that I will join the prophet of God to pray. I'll be part of the prayer. I'll not just be listening to the teachings, but I'll be part of the prayer. And I believe that the Lord will do what only he can do. I declare, receive a miracle. Receive a miracle, a 24-hour miracle in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you haven't subscribed, you make sure that you subscribe so that whenever we go live, you can get an update. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. I'm praying for you in Jesus' name. Amen. You are an ambassador of Christ. You are an ambassador of Christ. Ambassador of Christ. You are an ambassador of Christ.